guys, it's Michaela McAllister. I'll be taking you on an undercover mission at the Mass Gray Prom here on the set of Toy Chat. Project MC Square! Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Autumn. And Sing. And today we are reviewing an almost complete line of brand new Project MC Squared dolls. Um, this line, you know, we've mentioned in previous videos, Project MC Squared doll lines. <laughs> don't actually have names as a line. They name them individually, so it's like, you know, depending on the experiment that the girl comes with. If you'd like to learn more about Project MC Squared, uh, we reviewed a previous set of doll in the series, so you can check that out in the description. So, we're gonna jump right into this wave, which is essentially a masquerade prom theme, as it says on the back of the boxes. Uh, it's very fairy tale themed, so the girls are dressed in super fancy prom outfits themed after different fairy Tale creatures and characters. In this video, we are reviewing Ember, Michaela, Cameron, and Adrian. The packaging, you know, for Project MC Squared dolls is pretty standardized, so it just has the usual zigzag backdrop, which is the same for all four dolls. Um, there is another character in this line, um, Bryden, who I did not pick up. We'll talk a little bit more about her later. But yeah, nothing too exciting going on with the front of the packaging. It advertises the show on Netflix, and you can see the experiments the girls come with, which we will also show you guys. Mm -hmm. Here's the back of Ember and Michaela's boxes. As you can see, there are some very lovely promo images of the two characters. Um, there are a few differences from the prototype version that I'm a little bit sad about. <laughs> um, Ember is shown here as having multicolored like ombre wings and that is not the case in her final release. A little bit bummed about that, but um, you can see little blurbs about the experiments they come with. Ember comes with a fairy wings experiment and Michaela comes with a glue tattoo experiment. Super cute, and a little blurb about the masquerade prom, and it's unique per character too. You learn about Ember being a fairy, themed after a fairy, and Michaela is themed after a unicorn. And this is the back of Cameron and Adrian's boxes. Same deal, some super cute promo pictures with the girls in different poses. And you know what's funny? I feel like in older releases they had um, the actresses from the show yeah. on the back of the box yeah. now. Yeah. But I kind of really like the high-res pictures of the Oh, I think, I, think the, I prefer this. I think yeah. the promo images are gorgeous. Yeah. Like dynamic, like, like angles and yeah, how close. So yeah. You still try in Project MC Squared. <laughs> um, so Cameron comes with a nail polish experiment and Adrian comes with a lemon soap experiment and there's blurbs about their themes as well. Cameron is a dragon. And Adrienne, it doesn't explicitly say on her blur, but she looks she looks like, like a princess to me, mm -hmm. pretty much. 2017 princess. <laughs> Alright, so we will open these girls up. So this is Michaela McAllister out of box. Um, she has this really cute two-toned uh, eyeshadow going on with the bottom like on her lid being purple and then going up more towards her brow being like a cute magenta y pink. Her lipstick is this adorable, like pearly pink. I like the things they do with Michaela. She gets all like crazy stuff, like pink hair. Mm -hmm. I mean, her hair this time is... Her hair is stunning. <laughs> it is several different colors. All right, it's kind of hard, but we'll try to rotate her. She has um, some, well, her natural hair color, the main portion of it is just, just platinum. light platinum blonde. She has like turquoise highlights on the front and it goes down to a yellow shade to a darker yellow and then some pink purple, purple. Oh, yeah. very like so pastel cool. rainbow so pretty reminds me of rainbow sherbert cool. yeah I'm gonna eat her up absolutely love her <laughs> so for michaela's outfit she's wearing this purple sleeveless high-low ruffle dress um it's all made out of this really pretty, like, purple shimmery tulle, I think. It's very lacy looking. Mm -hmm. There's like a top sparkly tulle layer underneath is, um... Oh, it's like a metallic purple underneath. Yeah. Ooh, the way the Ooh, layers work wow. is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So fancy. Yeah, the way they layered that gives off a really nice look. And then the whole thing is lined with this cute black 
lace. Mm -hmm. She has painted on fingerless black gloves. The backing of her dress is uh, lined with this really pretty iridescent abalone shell looking It, does. it has fabric. like a wrapping paper look to me. <laughs> like yeah. it's very shiny. And then at the bottom she has very simple lilac boots and real socks. Which we love. The shoes are actually ombre. They fade oh. into a pale blue on either side. Yeah, so it's oh. like a lavender fading to blue. It's really cute. So for Michaela's two main accessories, she has this headpiece headband made to look like a unicorn's ears and horn. The horn's this really pretty complex of different glitters and gold, red, green, and maybe yellow or silver. I have no idea what else is in there. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit bent. It kind of looks like a big spiral of golden poo to me. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I mean, whatever. And you can probably tell it doesn't sit perfectly well on her head. It's like leaning forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's, it's interacting with the masquerade mask, which we'll get into. She has this elaborate black mask, um, which is adhered to her head with a, uh, elastic tie that they include, which is a nice gesture in theory, but it's so tight, it's really hard to get on the head, leaving the hair flat, and it also bends the hair where it sits, and it, I, it pushes the, the headband up a bit. It just doesn't sit right with the extra pressure of the elastic. We were just talking about it, and we were wishing either, like, I don't know. They treated. They gave the mask like little handles that they could hold up themselves, or they made the masks like they had like glasses. Cute in theory, they just turned out really awkward and impractical, unfortunately. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to leave the mask on because I don't want it to bend the hair. So here is Ember Evergreen out of box. Um, she has this like pale green eyeshadow which at the end of her eyes kind of cascade into this like light pink color. I think she has some pink under her eyes too. Yeah. And then underneath her left eye is this really pretty white um, design which I think is just made to look like loopy petals or fairy swooshes. It doesn't have to be based in reality. <laughs> her lipstick is the most exciting of the whole line. It's this like bubblegum pink but has glitter just covered on top of it. But as with most dolls with glitter lips, sometimes you have to look for one that doesn't have, you know, weirdly splattered all over the place. But I mean, I can already see some outside of the lines of a lipstick that I would want to take off personally, but yeah. it still looks really good. Yeah. Most of Ember's hair is this pretty lavender lilac color, but then on the underside of her hair, it trans. She has like this big chunk of magenta in yeah. it. Yeah, it's really strange. It's like rooted in a strange place, and there's not that much of it. Oh, I like how her bangs are braided. Yeah, it's like these really cool like mermaid tail braids, but it starts at the top of your head, which you don't usually do. Crazy intricate. And her headpiece is just. I love it. <laughs> it's this uh, antler hair piece with flowers adorned on it. I don't know, like most of these girls, I feel like there's, oh, you know, nature themed, like we're going to the prom, whatever this is, but this one feels very magical to me. Ember has uh, what we think are dragonfly wings on her back. It's a clear see-through with sparkles throughout. They don't capture super well on this camera, but they look really cute in person. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's supposed to be a fairy, so I'm sure they're intended as like fairy wings. Yeah. Quote, they're very Tinkerbell, yes. so yeah. Mm -hmm. And now for her outfit, she has this really cute spaghetti strap dress with green ribbon all around it and this really pretty like blush ruffles to it and it looks like it's like two-toned. Oh yeah, so I guess it's like this off yellow green look. I love that shade of green. It's such like a leafy green. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. And the green ribbon itself is lined with golden thread, which just, it's nice, you know? It's nice yeah. seeing nice things. <laughs> Her dress is tied off to the side with a little pink rose, which should probably just show the whole side here. Uh, her dress is tied off to the side with this cute little pink rose and it opens up on her right hip with all these like cascading layers of 
tulle and lace and whatnot. Um, it's also another high-low dress. Just cute. I guess that's in right now. But yeah, the whole bottom skirt is like this really cute lavender tulle on top of like a white, or I mean, sorry, like a light pink silky color. And then it has a little bit of green flourish for the side bit. And then her, I like how the ribbon comes down and looks like a vine or something. Yeah, you can see a little bit of the rat's nest that is the back of her hair. <laughs> yeah, we should probably talk about that. Uh, <laughs> her hair, while a lovely color, it's a little bit... Of a disaster from it's, the back, yeah. I was like, geez guys, are we gonna brush this? And I was like, I don't know if we should. I'm like, Actually, that might be a good point. <laughs> For her shoes, she has these really cute strappy beige sandals with little like pink flowers molded and painted on the side. Um, and she has these really cute fishnet lime green socks underneath, which... Love doll socks. <laughs> it's not, not high fashion in real life, but it looks great here. This is the masquerade mask that Ember comes with. It's a super cute, kind of glossy lavender color and it's shaped like a butterfly. Um, Precious. This is, in my opinion, maybe my favorite mask of the set, um, which makes me doubly bummed that it's kind of awful getting them on these dolls. Yeah, we really didn't want to put it on her hair because it was going to put a lot more stress to the whole ratness situation. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. You so, can just see her hold it. She gonna hold it, but <laughs> it's super cute. Here is Cameron Coyle out of the box. She has a lovely, super, I don't even know if you would call it platinum. It's, I mean, it's straight up white. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a very, it's like a lovely, shiny, milky white, and it's up in a high ponytail. She is wearing some, it's an interesting combination of simple but dramatic makeup with a layer of blue eyeshadow and a lavender cat eye above that. And her lips are a very bright peachy color. And she has some very cute star earrings. Well, one's a star and one's a moon. <gasps> oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Yeah. yeah. She fancy, she gets earrings. She was the least afraid of going on theme for this. <laughs> yes, because as you can see, she, she has shoulders. some very dramatic dragon wings that are a lavender and light blue ombre and they attach to the center of her back um, and she's supposed to be a dragon. She has this actually really cool belt piece. It's like, it's a two layered belt and it has like all these belts coming off of it and more buckles and the, all the metal it was like this cool bronzy That's color. That's the part where she's a tamed dragon. That's the part where she's a tamed dragon. Oh. Tied up. <laughs> she has these really cool elbow length um, gloves that are lace up. I'm not usually a fan of molded gloves. I think these are really cool. Well, what really like well Monster done. High and like Ever After High used to do, or they're doing now, is pretty much this whole arm joint is like one solid color. Yeah. Which is like these dolls, I appreciate that they're like laced up and they end up before it the joint. Off. Her dress is um, a little bit beyond my ability. <laughs> it's, it's like all the colors that a magical dragon could be, the very the inside of it though is just a simple like, teal blue, which is cute. Yeah. It's very ruffly and it's got all kinds of different like ways you would imagine a dragon would be. It's almost kind of like a mermaid gown in the back. Yeah, mm -hmm. Like little cascading ruffles, different colors. And for her shoes, she, I don't think this is the right term for it, but they kind of remind me of gladiator shoes. Mm -hmm. Well, they just look so serious and buckly, <laughs> but they're really just a pair of like high heel wedge type things. So yeah, but I almost feel like her shoes and belts are almost more themed after like dragon slaying, like buckles and leather. And yeah, it's weird. Like the slayer or the tamer and dragon mm -hmm. become one. Yes, it's really cool though. I like the yeah. two tone uh, look of it. Yeah, it's very intense, especially for MC squared. Yes. Cameron's masquerade mask is a very simple, it's almost like an off-white gray color. And it's 
the theme's a little odd to me because it just kind of looks like a beetle or something. Like it doesn't really remind me of dragons or yeah. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the color in comparison to the rest of her because like she already has the striking white on her head. But. And finally we have Adrienne Adams out of box. She has this light lavender eyeshadow and it's kind of uh, metallic-y looking and it has some she has some purple on her upper brow her lipstick is this very simple shiny pink i think what's really cool about her is her headpiece it's like this chrome silver i guess it's a tiara, tiara. yeah mm -hmm. it's a tiara very shaped like a crown but yeah, it seems like it seems like she's supposed to be like princess. I mean, very, very modernized princess, but... And she has mostly golden blonde hair. But what's really cool is that the people, the fine people at MC Squared dripped her hair in Kool-Aid <laughs> <laughs> before <Yeah>. production. <laughs> so there's like a reddish magenta ombre going on on yeah. the tips. In the camera, it looks very dramatic, like all of a sudden just blood. Yeah. <laughs> in person, the ombre is, is a lot more... Gradual. Yeah. More, yeah. But it's pretty. Just yeah. A little pe forewarning though, like her hair dyed the box that it was in. I wouldn't want it to stay in the dress. Yeah, you, I mean, there it doesn't look like the, um, the dress on mine is stained, but you can definitely tell too when you touch like the tips of her hair. It's, they legit just like dipped it in dye. It like, yeah, it so, still feels a little sticky. Yeah, so. so you gotta be careful about that. But it looks really cool. So something pretty special about Adrienne's hand mold is that she's doing like a peace sign with her right hand, uh, which is unique to this release, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I could be wrong. So for Adrienne's outfit, she has this like adorable pearly pink like faux leather jacket and her cuffs are this really pretty white um, lace work and on this hand it, it kind of looks just like a mess of white because it's faced towards us but on the other arm you can see it's actually a very intricate nice pattern it reminds me of original Draculara and it makes me sad <laughs> <laughs> I, we were just so admiring this when we first got her out of the box, like, it's, wow, you never see that anymore. She has this really cool, like, uh, chrome necklace to match her tiara, and it's in, like, pearls and cascades down into, like, a fancy jewel at the end, which is, like, this pea green, and there's a couple of pink jewels to the side. Her shirt's this very simple, like, midriff showing like white t-shirt but it's like it's very metallic looking it's iridescent which yeah. i like um and then she has yet another high-low skirt yes. <laughs> with um the same white fabric at the waistband and the main skirt underneath and then the outer skirt is this really pretty baby blue with pink and white flowers and green leaves adorned on it and she has a layer of blue, like, tall to give it some body. And then for her shoes, she has very simple, typical Adrian um, high heel wedges. Oh, but that's so pretty. The heel, though. The heel. Oh. The heels are like this, they look like bricks. So I'm imagining it's like the princess's castle. Oh. And, and the bricks are all glittered up. We love glitter here. That's pretty, <laughs> yeah. And the buckles are even painted silver, and then the front of the shoe have like this little bow with a silver clasp. Uh, one of Adrian's two face accessories are these really cute, like, it, it's kind of a cross between lavender and light pink glasses, and they're horn rimmed with all these like white pearls on the edges. They're very bedazzled, I love them. <laughs> they were tied to her hand with this elastic, so I have a small complaint for MGA. Stop doing this. Don't yeah. <laughs> tie things into the dress just to position things and then put holes in my nice dress. Yeah. They're pretty noticeable to me. Yeah. And it's like there was, I, I didn't rip out the thread holding the glasses there strongly at all, it was just 
how it was, so. Yeah, they've done that before. There's not any real reason for them. So Adrian, like all the other girls, comes with a masquerade mask. Um, hers looks like one of the most generic to me. There's kind of like a feathered look on either side, um, and it's a very, very pale, curly pink. So as with all Project MC Squared dolls, these characters do come with materials to do some experiments of your own. In these ones, you can have the opportunity to make your own lemon soap, glitter tattoos, nail polish, or like a fairy wing mold that you can use to create your own little fairy wings, worms, earrings, whatever. Um, instructions come with each doll on how to make all this fun stuff, but a previous complaint we've had is they don't actually provide you with everything you need for the experiments. You have to buy some of it yourself, which is kind of crummy. All right, so here are our final thoughts on the Masquerade Prom line. I absolutely love this line. Um, I think Project MC Squared went really all out for this set of dolls. Um, I think they're extremely detailed. I love that they got a little more daring with hair colors and color schemes in general, which I super appreciate. You know, it's something I don't think we see often enough in dolls. Um, these dolls are standardly priced at $24.99, so, you know, um, which to be honest, I think is fair given how detailed they are and how much they come with. Um, Bryden, as we mentioned earlier, is a part of this line as well. I decided to pass on her because she is, in my opinion, probably the least exciting of this line. Um, I love her hair. Her hair is gorgeous. It comes in like several different colors and she's mermaid themed, but I kind of don't like most of her outfit. I think it's very clashy. I don't like that she's wearing like sneakers with it's a mermaid lazy. dress. Yeah, it's kind of weird, kind of lazy. Um, the rest of these girls though are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I would recommend them if you're a Project MC Squared fan. Uh, this might be a good introduction to the series if you're into really fancy dolls. I love the fact that it's like a dramatic fairy tale theme. Um, they're a bit loud, uh, so if you're not into that kind of thing, you might not love these, but I'm mm -hmm. a fan. I usually don't like loud dolls, but I actually really like these. They're just, they're so pretty girl to me. Like, <laughs> all of them have like really nice complimentary color palettes. $25 is a bit outside of my budget for any one doll, but I mean, I'd say you are getting your money's worth, but I would still wait for a sale. When I first saw these, I was kind of shocked they were like Project MC Squared. They're very like, yeah, different from like the previous releases. Um, but I definitely think that they're very pretty dolls and it, it definitely the $25 really has gone like into the dolls. Mm -hmm. Ember's like uh, outfit is very like multi-layered. Um, so there's a lot of different fabrics and that could be very, you know, costly. So it's nice to see that, you know, after, you know, I guess two years, on the market, they're still trying really hard with their dolls. And you know, I hope, you know, we see more types of these dolls. Unlike a lot of other franchises, you know, it seems like they have kept their quality control pretty high. They've been more consistent yeah. so far than a lot of other yeah. doll lines. The other day we were at Target and we actually saw a wonky ember or somebody and I was yeah. shocked. Like I'd never yeah. seen a wonky MC Squared doll before. Yeah. Which sounds like a counterpoint, but it's not. I think that the overall quality control for this series is really good. All right, thank you for joining us for our review of the Project MC Squared Masquerade Prom Dolls. Be sure to let us know what you guys think of this line in the comments, what you'd like to see us review next, and we will see you next time. See ya! Bye.